I feel like I'm just doing mom stuff you guys never see. So um, I'll check in with you guys like during the play dates or when we're done. just cleaning up this space and here we go I'm about to make just a tiny little mess but I'm gonna get it cleaned up I got some stuff from Amazon will not be showing you guys like oh my god opening the boxes bags I already did that I already did that I got another fan I feel like this fan is just gonna be way more powerful than the other pink one that I have and this one is three speeds my pink fan is two speeds this does have nothing to do with travel but I bought my baby like a bento box like an air seal type bento box and for some reason he's just not been eating his snacks lately at school and I feel like it's because he doesn't know how to open it by himself but this one he had it before so it just works better for him he knows how to operate this one way better than like the latches and stuff I got undies because I am currently on my cycle Hooray. I'm actually very happy it's here because by the end of the week it'll be gone in time for the parties so I'm I'm really grateful that it came like when it came if you know anything about Amazon you know what OQQ is I just got these two pair of leggings in like a bone color and a brown color and then I have shorts in the same bone brown and black a travel size a makeup pouch it's like big and when you open it it has like a lot of space so this is going to be able to fit a lot of things and then in the middle is actually for brushes and um, I did go ahead and get like a silicone brush case so these two combined I can throw them in there the brushes are gonna be able to fit and it stretches to close a zip Tuesday April 4th why am I up because your girl forgot to take her lashes off I fell asleep I just came out the shower I took my makeup off I didn't even wash my face because I'm telling myself after I'm done with taking the lashes off I'm gonna be using this gel lash remover from lash view as well as this one these are like little micro spoolies you just want to squeeze a really nice amount so that's a good amount for now and then same thing with the gel you can take the gel out and put it on a surface so i'm gonna mix it to like you know like I'll activate the gel just a little so i'm gonna be using both of them in a little concoction to remove my lashes so just keep on watching to take lashes off i have to hold the eye down the whole time and keep this one open to see where i'm applying my stuff but in order to 
successfully do this without going crazy when I listen to a podcast. Um, you know what I really like listening to? Emma Chamberlain, but she hasn't dropped any new episodes. So um, the people from Power, they have a podcast called The Crew Has It. And I really like that podcast because I'll be watching Power. We're so excited to bring you the live show, our first ever. This one side is successful and honestly I'm I'm really liking it. It's cute. Maybe when both of them are off I'm gonna be like, um get my lashes back on. Now, not later. Now. Brie can't do it either. Brie's fully booked for today. So I'm going to misunderstood lash. Um she was in my last vlog at the birthday dinner for Zach. So you know, like I'd rather keep the money in the circle of mutuals, not to a random person i have to get my nails and toes done which is actually like a little date so i'm going on a petty date <laughs> and then what else i have to go to alta to a sephora return i also want to get like i think it's a sephora lip liner mm, i seen somebody try on tiktok i was like yes Bitch, you look so good and I'm always on the market for finding a good lip liner for dark skin and then to get the makeup forever primer that I was using in my last vlog because that right there when I went to Jamaica and I went to like the alkaline concert I used that and it was so good I need to stop rambling it's about to be it's 703 and I want to make some tea and just have some relaxing time in bed watching TV so let me hurry up because I would probably have to stop at around 8 to get the baby ready for school so that's pretty much the last check-in I'll do until I'm done with all my appointments because everything else as of now on is just gonna be a montage I feel like you guys have heard my voice enough <laughs> currently parked outside of hot miami styles it's like a boutique instagram boutique and they have a website and they have a storefront and one of my outfits actually did not come and i seen something on their instagram that i wanted to see in real life but more than likely purchase because i don't have another choice or option at this point um i do but i don't really like that outfit and i'm not gonna wear that so let's go in the store and buy an outfit because yeah need one about to be 10 35 are you guys feeling the nails or what let me know what you guys think i think these are so cute very very busy and maximalist i never do this like oh my god i know my ocd is gonna kick in as soon as i see a little bit of growth i'm gonna get them redone but anyways i have a list here with me but before i get into this list let's just talk about how vlogging with a kid is absolutely not it i tried and i feel like i look like a very irresponsible parent the baby is running up and down in the store i'm trying to do b-roll then i'm trying to hold his hand he's trying to pull away he got the tablet in his hand i got the heavy camera in my hand it was super chaotic trying to do that so i just literally stopped at ulta like ulta was it i really tried my hardest that was after i picked him up from daycare don't know why i did that i should have just left him there and did what i needed to do and go get him back but you know what it's cool like my son can par yeah and i feel like these are the things that really build character through motherhood like I really had to do just all that 
that's crazy but anyhow after i left ulta i went to burlington after i left burlington for those suitcases i bought him my little peppa pig toy he saw it in the checkout island he grabbed it so fast i just recently let him start watching peppa pig and i said pig pig and he said pig pig and i said oink oink and he said oink oink and i was like period son after leaving Burlington, I did go to Sephora to get that pore minimizing primer by Makeup Forever that I told you guys about. Then we left from there and went to Target and we left from Target and came home. I was greeted by some Amazon packages that was hair as well as a hair package that came from Fetch. So let me just go ahead and show you guys what I got from Ulta, Sephora, Target, Amazon. Like we love a good haul. I love a good haul. The only thing I hate is that whenever I do these hauls, I always have to link something. So I'm going to link everything. No worries. So as you guys can see, the Burlington suitcases are there ready for me to pack up these things. And bro, this big suitcase, I could fit inside it. I'm going to pop the picture up there. The Ulta stuff. Elf Beauty Blenders. Honestly, I really just love the browns. Like... That was a vibe. Then my Mented Yacht Life bronzer broke. So I got this back. I also got a couple brushes. And I told you guys in the last haul, in the last vlog, I was going back for my Hourglass Concealer in the shade Teak. This is my shade and I love it so much. I just ran out of it. I've had it for over over a year and I just got some more. And pretty much all my concealers are out. So I got my deep cinnamon and I did get deep chestnut just to, you know, like be a pop of color. So those three concealers. And this is the Makeup Forever Pore Minimizer Primer. Super cute. Love using this. And this much of product product can literally last you a year. You do not need a lot of this. You just need to, you know, make a little squiggly line on your face and you'll be good to go with this primer. Chef's kiss. I love it. Super good for the humidity that's going to be busting my ass. Let's get into the Target tees. I didn't get to go and do a wax today, so I'm going to nair. The nair that I have is almost finished, so we're going to use her. Saw this Aveeno cleanser, and I was like, let me give it a try. I always use La Roche-Posay, but I just wanted to use something smaller. I saw it, I just picked it up. Instead of lotioning, which I absolutely am just so over, I'm going to just bring this coconut oil with me. This Neutrogena oil is um, for my makeup. So I'm going to use the makeup wipes as well as this oil. I'm going to use this to cleanse first, take the oil off, and then use the wipes to wipe, first, wipe after. It works. It definitely works. And I've had this before finished. That's how good this is. So, Amazon, it's a brand new scarf, and there's another one in the closet, but you know, the girl after have our scarf. I leave me a live I do me a kind of, I'm going back to live, guys, bye, without your say. Right now, I have on socks because I was waiting for these to come in, but clearly if I wear them in Jamaica, more than likely I'm not going to wear them here, so I'm going to order another pair. This was from the time when the I locked myself out and I have a walk with my bed slippers on the nasty ground outside. Got re up. The tops that I ordered for the OQQ bottoms. So these are bodysuits and they're like one side, one shoulder bodysuits in the same color. The brown, the nude or top and the black. And then this is like a skimmed dupe. <laughs> dupe. Let me see. I think I got this in a medium if I'm not mistaken. It smells okay. The quality is nice and soft and it's really stretchy. So that's cute. It reminds me of like a school jersey shirt but with stretch. Cute. Gonna be wearing these with like some black leggings or something like that. Bumba. No, no, no. Them something yeah. Oh, which bag, granny baggy dress this? 
I thought these was thongs. Oh my god. Oh. 